suspected has been abducted two Nigerian university lecturers and others. Two lecturers at Abia State University, ABSU, Uturu, and others have been robbed and kidnapped by gunmen suspected to be herdsmen along ABSU Isuikato Road. Chairperson of ABSU's Academic Staff Union on Univers of Universities, ASUU, VU in Kame Dirim, said the incident took place around 6 p.m. on Thursday. Punch reports. He identified the affected lecturers as Reverend, Reverend Prof. S.O.A.Z.A of the Department of Industrial Chemistry and a Methodist minister and Don Chris Afulike of the Department of Mass Communication. They were said to be se traveling in separate cars. According to Inkem during the two lecturers ran into Fulani headsmen who were robbing motorists. After the robbery, the herdsmen took the two lecturers and some others away as of now they are yet to be seen however the camera belonging to dr chris aflike has been seen with his phone inside the vehicle the lecturer said in kim Durham added that the families of the lecturers confirmed the incident and the university management has been involved in the matter he also said asu national body and necessary security agencies have been contacted Wow. Um, okay, now this is very much major. Of course, we understand that there's been there's been killings in the southeast, and it wasn't necessarily by herdsmen. It was more with you know excessive, unjustified, overpowering military presence in the state, and that's where most of the deaths have been coming from. And now it seems as though herdsmen are are coming back into popularity. I guess um, herdsmen are now coming back into they're joining the cycle they are now joining and with the deaths that are happening they are now being recorded by herdsmen um so yeah of course this is now okay what is going to happen because you have the military on one hand you have the herdsmen on one hand attacking this same set of people and um yeah they i don't know how but this just shows that it's not going to get worse um, and I guess it's the confidence the herdsmen have because they know that they're not going to be held accountable. I mean, even terrorists are being granted amnesty. So to them, this is not really enough of a crime that you know what they think about also um, basically killing people. Wow. Somebody here says that you still believe in one Nigeria. You are next to experience this. Nigeria is long gone. Nigeria was never created um nigeria is just i don't even know what to call it from the beginning it did not even seem like as if we were going anywhere the promise that nigeria showed was basically the leftover and the remnants of the influence of the british because they did have the british system here as they colonized the country and um you know this is, obviously when they left of course parts of you know, even still everything was still running in an orderly fashion where you know the the system of the british was still very much intact and as years went by you know cementing ourselves well into our independent state um that's that's when we went into disarray so again nigeria never really showed promise as a group of people who genuinely want to come together of course our history was interrupted with slavery and um colonialism but even from independence and then onwards and just the way Nigeria has evolved, it never really showed any promise. Individuals did, individuals who happen to be from a certain tribe, but the only promise that we saw and we identified it with the tribe or Nigeria as a whole were individuals. They were not necessarily, um, we're not necessarily like as a result of the system already put in place to promote such. You know what I mean? So, yeah, on that note, this person say if you think about Nigeria or if you still believe in Nigeria, Nigeria never existed in the first place. So whatever we're having now, the good things we're having now, 
is not as a result of ni- the Nigerian state. Absolutely not, because the country has not invested in itself to reap good things. Um, and now, and you know, when it comes to security, that also shows as well because <laughs> where the question is: so how strong? How strong is our military? How strong is the security system? Uh, emergency security system how good are they how efficient are they you know you're gonna call what number emergency number but then you have bad roads they won't even get you in time because of traffic you see these are the kind of things when it comes to the infrastructure that is lit- infrastructure um which you know intertwines with the industrialization of the country things it, it will just interlock like you, it, it's so hard to just it's so hard to just think of one problem because Nigeria is also complex and problematic. Like, even if, you know, um, okay, fine, you want to equip the army, you have corruption, no accountability system, you join the army, you, I mean, we have heard a lot of situations where um, the people in the army are not treated right, and most of them want to leave, but some of them, actually, some of them do leave, some people can't. But just understanding that, um, that, listen, even if we are trying to find a solution to all these kind of things, because of how damaged the country is, and because the country just the country just continued damaging over the years, it's like the easiest way is for us to be united and just dismantle this whole thing. Because from the beginning, the foundation of Nigeria was just not right. Um, and again, I th- and I think this is I don't know. It's because now the people of Abia State are blo- uh, uh, boxed. And I think the same we can say for the Southeast. They're boxed with excessive military presence and then herdsmen coming again. So who would they have to defend them? Nobody. Which means, logically, they'd have to defend themselves. Right. Now, they have ESN, um, in which people argue it's only for IPOB, but in IPOB being the group made its military arm, and that is accessible to all Biafrans, as it should. It's the Eastern Security Network. So... When, when we talk about that, let's try... I know it's it's impossible in most conversations, but let's try to disassociate it with IPOB. Let's just see ESN as one body, Eastern Security Network. Um, that's going to be the re- most relied upon force to defend the people of the Southeast because no one else is going to. And it's like... We already know how it is when you try to defend yourself and then you're the one being accused of the crime in the first place and then you're the one who actually pays for just doing the right thing um and so could this be a trap you can ask because their leader is now in custody of the government and so this is the time for them to test the people and just put get them in an unwanted situation where it looks as though they're they're not what they are really so yeah put what you think in the comment section below do not forget to like and subscribe